charges thanks to a 70 year old man from Gardner. Yeah, despite his age and a handful of health problems, the grandfather didn't even think twice about fighting back when this guy broke into his home. As Ken McLeod shows us, the would be crook picked exactly the wrong guy to mess with. And all of a sudden, bang, he's standing right there. At age 70, Mike Salem has arthritis, a bad heart, and a solid punch. I him and I give him three good rights. <laughs> I caught him good right in the face, and he went down like you know, he never got up again. When he awoke to some noise early Saturday, Mike thought it was another bear at the bird feeder in his gardener backyard. Police now say it was actually Timothy Adams breaking in. Mike didn't realize the intruder had already shattered this window and climbed inside. But early proof the burglar wasn't really on the ball came when he then walked through this door, putting himself right back outside again. When Mike glanced out a window and spotted the guy stumbling over his trash barrels, he grabbed the phone to call 911. But by then, Adams was back in the house, and the two were face to face in the foyer. I dropped the phone and I just uh, grabbed him by the throat and gave him a body slam down on the floor. When the would-be burglar tried to scramble up the stairs, Mike put him on the hardwood with a flurry of fists while yelling to his wife to call 911. Luckily, he didn't have a knife or, or a gun, and like I said, Mike reacted so quick. But as they waited for police, the 24-year-old intruder with a bloody nose pitched a deal. He offered me $100,000 to let him go. Mike can chuckle about it now, but police recommend homeowners flee rather than fight. He could have been seriously hurt. Um, but certainly his age and experience in life uh, helped him react to what was going on. Retired now, Mike was a welder who took over his dad's metal fabrication plant, so we wondered where he got those brawling skills. I grew up with three brothers, and we did a lot of scrapping in our lifetimes. Still, this senior citizen hopes the rest of his golden years aren't quite as exciting. Everything turned out good. In Gardner, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. Good for him. Turns out that suspect lives just up the street, and his mom told us that he was virtually blackout drunk that night and doesn't remember anything but waking up in jail. And he probably had a really sore jaw, too. <laughs>